I'm Marissa Bailey. Here are the stories making headlines at this hour. Health officials are warning of a possible measles exposure at a Loop restaurant. If you dined at Honey Grow on Lake Street between 630 and 930 this past Tuesday night, you could have been exposed. Public health officials have already started reaching out to people who may be at risk. They're especially concerned about pregnant women, people whose immune systems are compromised or those who haven't been vaccinated. Officials say there is no longer a risk there at the restaurant. Well, police in Southwest Suburban Burbank are looking for a driver who hit and killed a nine year old boy and injured his mother and younger sibling. The three were crossing 86th and Cicero Saturday night when a vehicle hit them. Witnesses tell police the vehicle was gray with four doors. Hundreds of animals at a Huntley animal shelter will finally get a break from the heat. Over the course of about one day, nearly $30,000 has been raised to replace the facility's air conditioning unit. The Animal House Shelter is in Huntley, is trying to find homes for 200 dogs and 50 cats. The shelter's AC system broke and needs to be replaced. Over the weekend, the Home Depot and Niles donated eight portable air conditioning units. Good Samaritans also brought kiddie pools to fill with water so those doggies could cool off. Meteorologist Megan Glare is here now on the Weather Watch. Yeah, and another day of intense heat for us. We're going for a high of 93 today. Going to see some evening storms, though. That comes with a cold front that will knock the temperature way down back to right around 80 for tomorrow, maybe even cooler in some spots. So a big change for the cooler, but we still have today to go. And heat is a cumulative effect on your body. So today could be the most uncomfortable for us moving into the rest of the week. We're in the 70s pretty much across the board. Temperatures feeling much more comfortable starting tomorrow. All right, Megan, thank you and keep it right here on CBS Chicago for updates throughout the day. Have a good one, everybody.